Hello, my brotherhood, and welcome to another unbox. Uh, well, not unboxing video. That, that's that's silly. Another action figure review of the SPDR Build a Figure Waves Scarlet Spider. If you guys are excited, I hope you are. Head on down to that like button. Hit it for me real quick. And if you're new, make sure you subscribe and hit that little bell icon right there, so you always know when another action figure review, game, whatever from my creations, YouTube, and cosplay is coming your way. And today we'll be talking about the Kane Parker Scarlet Spider from comic books. I am, I'm not going to lie, the familiarity I have with Kane Parker is mainly from the original 90s cartoon. I don't remember if he was actually in that, but I know Ben Riley was. And uh, I, he is in the new uh, Scarlet Spider comic book that focuses mainly on Ben Riley, but Kane is in that. Uh, I did love that comic book, so... Uh, and I do see Kane a lot in it. He's a very justice-oriented kind of guy, uh, always trying to do right by uh, everything. So uh, he's a cool character. I enjoy him a lot. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, Kane himself, and then we'll take a closer look at the accessories that come with him, and we will then take a closer look at the articulation that comes on Kane. So again, I'm going to mention I don't know a whole lot about Kane Parker. I'm pretty sure... He is the original clone of Spider-Man. Correct me if I'm wrong there in the comment section down below. I would I would appreciate that. But I'm pretty sure he is the original clone of Peter Parker. But uh, And I know he is uh, considered a failed clone because he's not completely accurate to Spider-Man's DNA. But let's go ahead and take a quick look real quick. I'm going to get my light over here so we can take a closer look. And I am going to brighten that up. Um, put my other light over here. Uh, so I like the head sculpt. Uh, it came out really well, I believe. I really love the dark reset eyes of, uh, that we're seeing right there. Um, I think it looks really cool. Uh, I should have called my buddy Larry and gotten some, uh, comments about this from Ghost Spider Cosplay because he knows a buttload about Spider-Man, where my knowledge is more, uh, you know, to mainly just Peter and his, uh, you know, repertoire of bad guys. He knows about all the other characters that exist in Spider-Man's world. But um, I love the Spider logo. It came out really great. And I love this red and black. Now, the red and black on the torso and the shoulders here and everything, I love it. I do not like that the rest of the character is just red. I, do, I don't like it. It's too monotone for me. I would have liked to have seen, like, you know, maybe black thighs and, you know, or black in black boots or something. But... I mean, all in all, it's still a good-looking character. Uh, the eyes, like I said, came out great. The uh, arms are coming out really good. Show off those arms. The fists look really good. I do like that the fists are, are black. I do like that. Um, take a closer look at the torso here real quick. That spider decal logo is really good. I really do like it. Get my, get my light off of that so you guys can see it for a little bit closer without, you know, blinding. Um, again, the rest of the figure is just kind of bland. I mean, it's just red. It's just red. And my light is making it look like it's, like, way not red. It's, like, orange. But, um, it's literally just a red figure on everything else and on the back. Except on the back, we do get a red spider logo. Let me get my light over here so you guys can see that. Um... There's a deep crease in his back right here, which kind of makes it hard to see. But uh, it does look good. Um, I wish I could show that off a little cleaner, but I can't. But um, And there's your spider butt. There you go. Um, and serial logo and everything. But uh, all in all, I still think it's a good figure. Uh, I just wish it was a little more visually stimulating uh, everywhere than just up here. <coughs> um, I mean... It comes with some good accessories, too, so let's go ahead and take a look at those, and then we'll take a closer look at the articulation that we have on Kane Parker. All right, as in every uh, figure from this wave except for Doc Ock, you get a uh, Build-A-Figure piece for the SPDR figure, and it is the uh, left arm. Uh, again, we're not going to go into too much detail about that because we'll look at it when we look at the actual figure itself and we build it. Uh, we get a pair of interchangeable hands that are not the fisted hands. You get these uh, stingers. I'm going to bring my light in here real quick. Excuse me. 
uh, cane so I can show off their hands here. I love the ta like, like the, the deep recessed, you know, fingernails that we're seeing there. I'm going to try to get my light on that so you guys can see it. No, that's not helping. Hold on. See if this light over here will help. Um, yeah, that helps a little bit. Uh, look at those fingernails, though. They're like talons almost. And the stinger, um, I know he gets it later on. He doesn't always have this. Um, but he's able to, like, inject a poison, I believe, or something by stinging his opponents. Uh, so you get one open one and one fist one right here. And then you just get his fisted hands. And the other uh, piece that we get is a Kane Parker head sculpt. Um, I don't think he looks like... I mean, he might look like this in a certain comic book. But, uh, I mean, I'm not talking about his looks. I'm talking about his eyes. His eyes do not look like that in the Ben Riley comic book that I read. So, does he look like that in other comic books, I guess? I don't know. I, I will like to say, I'll try to remember to put an image up. But the first time you see Kane Parker in, like, a superhero outfit, uh, he has this ridiculous-looking outfit. It's totally 90s. It screams 90s. I'll try to put it up right now. Um, I would love to get an action figure of that. But let's go ahead and port this head onto our uh, Scarlet Spider real quick. That was tight. Ooh. And let's get that on there. there, there. Ah, is it on there? Oh, I think it's on there. All right. Oh, it's tight just moving around. But let's go ahead and take a look at it. I love the beard. The beard came out great. Uh, the hair came out great. Uh, I would have liked some black wash in that. Uh, let's see if I can. Uh, some black wash would have made it look a little bit more natural, you know, instead of just, you know, pure brown hair. But uh, it looks good. I like it. Um, I accept, like I said, except the eyes. I don't get the eyes. Um, I must be missing something from another comic book. I must not know. So I just noticed we have a little bit of extra plastic right there. But, um, yeah, if you guys know what comic book that's from, please let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to read it. Love to find it, read it. So I do have some. Uh, I do have a Scarlet Spider comic book. I need to read. It's like a trade paperback. I haven't read it yet, but I need to get into it. So uh, yeah, bad me, bad me. But let's go ahead and get into the articulation of him, and then we'll go ahead and uh, show off some moves. All right, to show off the articulation for this Kane Parker Spider Man, you can make his head look almost. Oh, oh, oh! His head popped off. Ugh. Hold on, let me get that back on there. Ugh, there we go. You can make him look pretty much all the way up, which is really nice. And you can make him look down all the way. Uh, his head will slide, ship side to side. No head pivoting. Um, shoulders move all the way out perpendicular, which is great. Ooh, can I get, nope, I can't get one more up. And they can move all the, almost all the way down to the side. I do want to show this off real quick. So, um, he does have a butterfly joint, but I want to show something off real quick. See how far out his arm is? And then we get the butterfly joint, and it comes all the way across. That's how you do a butterfly joint, ladies and gentlemen. If he was able to do this without the butterfly joint, the butterfly joint is useless. But because of this butterfly joint, he can move his arms across his body like that, which is fantastic. So uh, good job on Hasbro Zen for that. So that butterfly joint is very useful. There's no real gapage in there, so I like that. I'm going to get my light over here so you guys can see. See if I can... Turn my light on my phone. There we go. There's no real gabbage in there or in the back, so I like that. They did a good job with this butterfly joint. Um, bicep swivel, uh, double jointed elbows that, I mean, it feels like they should go in a little bit more, but I don't want to break them. Um, and I did just notice there's a little bit of extra plastic right there. So get my light back where it needs to be. Uh, hands uh, move up and down all around. He does have an ab crunch forward that does move forward. Let me get my camera back a little bit now. It does go forward quite a bit. And it does go back quite a bit also. There is no diaphragm, anything. Waist swivel right there. Uh, he will kick forward that high and back a little bit, which is pretty good. Upper thigh cut. Double jointed knees that go up all the way. Uh, he does have a boot rotation, which is nice for posing. Uh, ankles do move down. They do move up. And he does have ankle pivot. 
Now, because I believe I forgot to actually do this when I was doing uh, going over the looks of the character, you can see that he measures out just about six inches tall. Now, for a size comparison real quick, we'll uh, measure out my King Carker Scarlet Spider figure next to the only sp other Spider-Man figure I have in my collection, the House of M uh, Spider-Man from the House of M storyline. And they would be exactly the same, you know, height, but it's just because of this uh, Spider-Man's bum knee. So, uh, poor bum knee Spider-Man. I'm sorry for you, bud. And here's all the other figures we have from our wave here. We have the all-new, all-different Daredevil. Electra, House of M, Spider-Man, and Cloak. And so far, oh, this is really hard for me to pick my favorite figure in this set. Ooh, I don't know. I'll have to let you guys know my ranking when we get all the figures in, and I'll let you know then. But right now, good set, good wave. I'm really liking it. And here's our Kane Parker getting ready to sting somebody with his uh, stinger there. I really like this figure. I just, I'm a little... Aesthetically-wise, the, the bottom is very boring, but... Uh, playing with this figure a lot, I really want to get the other uh, Scarlet Spider, Ben Riley, so I could do some awesome poses and everything with them. Because uh, I really liked that comic book. It was the comic book that came out after uh, Ben Riley was the Jackal for a while, and he was uh, uh, cloning people and bringing them back to life. Spoiler, by the way, if you haven't read that, sorry about that. But uh, it is an, it's like 2016, 2017 comic book, so it's been out for a while. But the Ben Riley comic book is really great. I got to experience the two Scarlet Spiders, and I've fallen in love with Kane Parker right here. So I'm really loving him a lot. Great, uh, great character. Uh, um, the alternate head sculpt, while it does kind of weird me out a little bit, um, I, I don't understand if it's significant to a comic book. So right now I'm not going to say much about it. But uh, the one thing I do wish they would do for every Spider character is give us wall crawling hands because come on one of the best things about spider-man is his wall crawling so for that i'm only going to give this kane parker skeleton spider a rating of five stars it would totally have been six but again i'm just kind of bored of this bottom you know so i don't know let me know if you guys, if you guys agree with me in the comment section down below um, if he would have had wall crawling hands, definitely would have been a six. Uh, if he would have, if, I don't know, if he would have been a little more aesthetically pleasing down here, maybe even a perfect seven. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below, and uh, make sure you check out the uh, the product shots afterwards of the uh, images I have for uh, Scarlet Spider here. And let me guys, let me guys, let me know, guys, what do you think of this uh, wave so far? I would love to get your opinions on it. But uh, again. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget you can find me on Facebook, uh, Discord, Instagram, and Twitter. All that stuff is in the uh, comment section. No, not the comment section, the description down below. Um, go ahead and join my Discord server and join the Brotherhood. You can uh, get involved with our comic book reading club. I would love for you guys to be a part of that. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new, subscribe and hit that little bell so you never miss another uh, Marvel Legends action figure review from me or anything cosplay related or video games. I do play video games. I think I'm going to be playing Skyrim. I think I'm already started that actually by the time this video is out. But again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.